गेट ट्वेंटी एटीन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सेट वन क्वेश्चन फिफ्टी फाइव एन एयरक्राफ्ट अप्रोचेज द थ्रेश होल्ड ऑफ अ रन वे स्ट्रिप एट अ स्पीड ऑफ टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स पर आवर द पायलट डी सेलरेट्स द एयरक्राफ्ट एट अ रेट ऑफ वन पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर एंड टेक्स एटीन सेकेंड्स टू एग्जिट द रन वे स्ट्रिप इफ द डिसलरेशन आफ्टर एग्जिटिंग द रन वे इज वन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर देन द डिस्टेंस of the gate position from the location of the exit on the runway is it needs to be found in meters up to one decimal place the relevant nptel reference has been cited when we talk about landing of an aircraft on the airport so we will be given a runway on which the pilot will land the aircraft after he has landed there will be a taxi way where he turns the plane and parks it near the gate position where the people can get down and the luggage can be offloaded so runway and taxi way have different geometric design standards and the aeroplane's speed will be different so let us say it lands with a speed of v and decelerates by a1 so by the time the aer aircraft reaches here it would have decelerated to a speed of let's say vt which is the taxi way speed and then it would decelerate at a different rate here because the runway and a taxi way are designed differently and once it decelerates at the rate of a2 by the time it reaches the gate let us call this distance as capital d it would have come to a full stop so right from the touchdown the aircraft starts decelerating reaches a lower speed of vt decelerates at a different rate and finally comes to a full stop near the gate in the given problem the touchdown speed has been given as 200 kilometers per hour if this is the runway and let us assume this is the taxi way the aircraft will land at a speed of v1 here and it is given that it uses the runway for a time of 18 seconds and decelerates on the runway at a rate of 1.697 meter per second square so by the time it reaches the taxi way its speed would be reduced to vt and by the time it reaches the gate here its speed should be zero it should have come to a full stop so trying to find vt using the first equation of motion which is given by initial speed minus the deceleration into the time taken on the runway so here the initial speed is 200 which would be converted to meter per second using the conversion factor of 5 by 18 minus the acceleration is given as 1.697 and the time taken on the runway is 18 this would give the taxi way speed as 25 meters per second this essentially indicates that the aircraft lands at a speed of 55.56 meter per second decelerates on the runway and by the time it exits the runway it has reached a speed of 25 meters per second now trying to find the distance of the exit on the runway to the gate d which will be given by using the third equation of motion that will be the initial speed on the taxi way vt square divided by 2 times the deceleration on the taxi way this is similar to the stopping side distance concept where the stopping side distance has two terms of lag distance and braking distance where the braking distance is given by v square by 2a so substituting the value of vt which is 25 and deceleration rate on the taxi way is given as 1 in the problem using this the value will be obtained as 625 by 2 which will be 312.5 meters so the distance of the gate position from the location of exit on the runway was found out as 312.5 meters the relevant nptel reference has been cited